Hello, my name is Luis Benitez and I work for IBM as one of the social software product managers. And today I want to give you a quick demo on how to create a widget within Lotus Notes so that you can view and retrieve somebody's social profile directly from Lotus Connections. And this process is actually very easy, so let me show you how it works. First, we're going to go into the My Widgets section. We're going to click on the menu and we're going to say Configure a Widget From and we're going to say a web page. Now, in my blog, you're going to see the URL that you need to use. So I'm just, saying, I'm just going to take that URL and I'm going to put in the right values for my company, which in this case is IBM, as I mentioned. And so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to select the default option, which is the first one. And now the system is going to check and make sure that the URL is valid and that there's actually a page that gets retrieved. Now, don't worry if you don't get any results back from the system. That's fine. Um, what you want is just the page to load. So let's click Next for now. Um, let's uh, give it a name. So for example, you can say Search Connections by Name. And you can actually configure the widget to, to search by name, by email, by phone number, so that wherever a phone number appears, for example, or wherever an email appears, you can easily retrieve their social profile. Now, I'm going to go into the Advanced section, and I'm going to say that the only parameter that is going to be configurable for now is just the, the actual input, right? So the name. Um, the, the search by, again, this is going to change whether it's going to be by email or by phone or etc. But in this case, since we're searching by name, this stays the same. And then this guy is going to be configurable. So I'm going to click Next here. And now we're done. I'm going to click Finish. So now we've created a widget. And that took maybe 45 seconds. Very, very straightforward. Now what we need to do is tell the widget to recognize content within emails, calendar invites, uh, documents, etc. So let's do that. Let's right click on the widget and let's say configure a new action. And now let's say don't recognize an address, instead recognize a person. And do not recognize their email, recognize their name. So very straightforward. And then whatever name appears in an, an email, a calendar invite, a to-do, whatever, map that to the input parameter that we just defined. And then show me the results in a new tab. And that's all it takes. So I click OK here, and voila. Now notice that automatically, everywhere where a name appears, it's highlighted, and I can now do a search within Lotus Connections. So to do that, I can just right click here, and notice that Search Connections by Name, which is the widget that I just created in, in about a minute and a half, it's already there. So I want to click on that, and back comes John's profile, and I can now view his business card, and if I want to, I can even view his profile. So very straightforward. Um, and again, this works for pretty much anybody. So there's uh, Jen, there's my name also highlighted, etc. So wherever a name appears, uh, you can easily um, view their profile from a lot of connections. Now here's where the cool thing um, is. You can take this widget that you created and now share it with your colleagues. So we just drag and drop the widget. And now we can just address it. So let's say I want to send it to Sasha, which is one of my good colleagues. We can send it to uh, Jean Leo, who's also one of my good colleagues. And perhaps send it over to Chris Piega, another good colleague on that, offline. And that's it. Now I click Send. And when they get the email, all they have to do is just take this widget and then drag and drop it into the widget pane. And now your entire organization is enabled and can now leverage this widget in just a matter of seconds. So that's it. I hope you liked the demo. Um, you can learn more about me in my blog at elbenitas.com. Thanks.